Welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to discuss um, how we can uh, represent uh, given sets in two set builder notation. So this is a very simple question. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you click on the subscription button and don't forget to click the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'll be posting. And if you have any questions or you'd like to join any of my online lessons, it can be physics, biology, mathematics, or chemistry, feel free to contact me using these lines on the screen. All right, so let's quickly begin to solve the questions. So we have a number of questions. Let me start with this one. All right, so this question says describe each of the following in set builder notation. So this is a very simple question, like I said. So the first question that we have here is um, set A is equal to, and then we have 1, we have 4, we have 9, we have 16, and 25. So when you look at these numbers, these are perfect squares. Yeah, so to write this in set builder notation, you can simply just say, um, Okay, in other words, let me just explain what perfect squares are. In other words, it's easier for you to find the square root of 1. It's easier for you to find the square root of 4. It's easier for you to find the square root of 9, 16, and 25. So these are perfect squares which are less than 30 or 26. You can write it in that way because when you're using set builder notation, you can either describe a set uh, mathematically or using words. You can either describe a set using mathematical symbols or words inside the brackets. All right, so in this case, I can use um, mathematical symbols to describe these, uh, I mean this uh, set. So, right, so, so this one here said these are perfect squares, meaning we can write them as, um, we can write this mathematically as x squared is such that x is a member of what? X is a member of natural numbers. And this X should be less or equal to 5. So if I write it like this, this means that if I get any, any natural number which is less than 5, so natural, number, natural numbers are accounting numbers starting from 1. So when we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because we're saying less or equal to meaning 5 is also supposed to be included. Into the in the oasis in the solution set, all right. So this is exactly what you do. So if you get these natural numbers, you square them. You are going to get this set. For instance, if you square one, you get one. If you square two, you you get four. If you square three, you get nine. If you square four, you get sixteen. If you square twenty-five, you uh, rather if you square five, you get twenty-five. So this is the solution for the first part. All right, so the second part is also simple. Set B is um, negative 7, negative 5, negative 3, negative 1. So when you look at these, these are negative uh, numbers. And then apart from them being negative, they are also odd numbers. Because an odd number is a number that if you divide it by 2, it will always leave a remainder 1. Yeah, so these are odd numbers. So if you want, you can just write this in word, in word form. You say um, x is such that x is a negative, x is a negative odd number less, um, yeah, so le let me not use less than, let me say greater than. So this is a negative odd number greater than negative 9 or negative 8. So you can write it however you think uh, it's okay. If you want to use negative 9 or negative 8, it's still, be, it's still going to be fine. So you can say x is such that x is a negative odd number greater than negative 9. Okay, so let's move on to C. So C is also very simple. So set C can also be written in set builder notation as 
um, 2x because when you look at these numbers we have 2 4 6 8 10 12 uh, 16 there is no 14 there so look at that properly and check there's no 14 so since we don't have 14 so we can easily just say 2 times x is such that x is a member of natural numbers but this x should be less than 9 and in this x we have to exclude what 7 so we can say excluding 7 or if you don't want to say excluding 7 you can simply just say x is not equal to 7 where x is not equal to 7 so x can be any number that is less than any natural number that is less than 9 but we are excluding 7 from the solution set so when you replace any number that is less than 9 excluding 7 in this expression here you get this set that you have which is set C alright so let's quickly move on to set D so when you look at set D set D is found by adding numbers consecutively so if you say 1 plus 1 you are getting 2 2 plus 2 you are getting 3 3 plus 3 you are getting oh sorry 2 plus 2 you are getting 4 3 plus 3 you are getting 6 I don't know what I'm doing sorry supposed to be 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 2 4 and then 4 plus 4 8 I don't know how I brought in 3 and then 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 16 you get 32 so how do you find the formula that is going to suit that so you can use um, geometric progressions if you did ge geometric progressions uh, high school this is a very simple question because we, we can see that this is a sequence here so if it's a sequence we have to identify whether it's a GP or an AP so when when you look at this when you find the value of R R is found by finding getting the second term over the first term so the second term there is 2 over 1 so this is giving us 2 let's try it also for other numbers let's get 8 and 4 so let's see if this is a GP so if it's a GP if we get the answer to again we conclude that it's a GP so if it fails then we try to find the common difference so this is a common ratio that we're finding so let's try to find the other part we get 8 and then we divide it by 4 we're also getting 2 because you get the number that is there divided by this firstly I got 2 I divided by 1 I also got 8 I also uh, and also divided by 4 to get this 2 so since we have gotten 2 on both cases we conclude that this is a GP so for GPs we know that the nth term of a GP is found by uh, a which is the first term the common ratio then n minus 1 so uh, let us find the nth term that is what we are going to get as the value uh, I mean as the function that we put there so the value of a which is the first term is 1 and r is the common ratio which is 2 in this case then n is the nth um, n is the one that we are going to get, call x so x minus 1 so the formula will therefore be 2 x minus 1 so this is what we are going to put here 2 then x minus 1 so the same way I found this you can also use it to find this 2x here on part c so uh, 2 to the power x uh, x minus 1 is such that x is a member of what natural numbers but these natural numbers are supposed to be less than what seven so we say x should be less than seven so if you put any natural number that is less than seven in this expression here the resulting set will be set d you can try it out all right so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial see you in the next tutorial video don't forget to click on the subscription button and the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that i'll be posting and then in case you have any questions feel free to contact me using any of these lines on the screen 
My name is Hamted. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.